triggering a debate about the true meaning of its mysterious verses. For more than 14 centuries, the Quran has been a source of guidance for Muslims around the world. But what believers find in its pages has often depended on what they are looking for. Like nearly all holy books, the Quran contains a host of meanings that are sometimes contradictory and difficult to reconcile. There are numerous verses that call on believers to live peacefully and to create a society built on justice and understanding. Chapter 16, verse 90. Behold, God enjoins justice and the doing of good and generosity toward one's fellow men, and he forbids all that is shameful and all that runs counter to reason. But other verses in the Quran command Muslims to rise up in arms against non-believers. Chapter 9, verse 29. Fight those who believe not in God, nor acknowledge the religion of truth, until they pay with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. In recent years, a relatively small but growing percentage of Muslims have found in verses such as these the justification for a violent ideology. There is, in a very real way, a struggle for the soul of Islam between a majority and a minority. A minority that is a minority, but that is dangerous and, and have an impact beyond its numbers. In 1998, Osama bin Laden quoted one of these verses. Fight and slay the pagans wherever you find them. Seize them and take them captive and lie in wait for them in every stratagem of war. Osama bin Laden quoted from the Quran and also the example of the Prophet in order